That story was filmed and reported by Tim Lehar. Sports stars today put their face to many charities and programs. For St Kilda AFL players Xavier Clark and Alan Murray, they've not only started their own foundation, but they play a leading role in the way it operates. Video journalist Chris Flanders brings us this story. Kicking goals and taking marks for St Kilda AFL players, Xavier Clark and Alan Murray, comes easy. Now they've teamed up off the field to kick some goals of another kind, starting up the Unity Foundation to empower kids to pursue and achieve their dreams. Well, the foundation's um, just running programs in primary schools and high schools just about um, giving kids confidence in, in themselves and teaching them how to make the right decisions. Formed only a year ago, the Melbourne-based foundation provides a range of professionally designed programs, covering everything from leadership through to essential life skills. Yeah, well, the kids we had today, the Warrior kids especially, it's a, more of a life skills program, so I think the message with them is, you know, making you know, right choices and, and thinking about the consequences from those choices and you know, maybe just having a second to think about what they're doing, if it's right or wrong. The teaching of self-confidence is a prime aim of the program. The first week, you know, they, they wouldn't say a word and, and were pretty quiet and that, but uh, as you can see today, they're all standing around having a yarn and, and telling a few stories and having a laugh and that. And, you know, we, we spoke about communication styles as well as one of the topics we covered. and. You know, being that assertive person, and, which is good, and you know, they showed that today. The program uses the game of footy to foster an understanding of the basic rules needed to get through life. Looks good, it is. We've been learning about consequences, rules, comparing them with footy rules and school rules. Yeah, and um, respect, got respect. Umpires out on the field, you got respect teachers and class. Deb's spoken to them about over the last six weeks has sort of really um, made them think about how school works really important and and the rules and the things they follow. Having their footy heroes on hand has really kicked home that message to these students. It's been good to come down, meet some of the players, yeah, talk to them, learn how they went through school and how they got here. You've got, to, you've got to give respect to get respect. And already positive long-term goals are being set in place. Yeah, I think I might want to go all the way through school so I can go get a good job. Be positive, assertive. Mm. Just a way to act of life. And mm. not Do thing. right. Don't take the wrong path. And to ensure that students start their day on the right path, the Unity Foundation has also established the Unity Brecky Club. Once you're there and get the kids there and Everyone's having breakfast together and having a laugh, and it's pretty, um, you can see the smile on the kids' face, it's pretty priceless. Entering into a partnership with the Lighthouse Foundation has also enabled the Unity team to design a house for homeless youth. Plans are complete and construction will begin soon. Hopefully we can provide for some younger kids that, you know, who feel that they have to move away from home. You know, we've got a house there for them, it's, you know, very family-like home, um, that's probably the most important thing we wanted to try and do is make sure it's as family as it can be. Um, you know, there's going to be two carers in the house, um, you know, they're going to be both Indigenous people. CEO of the Unity Foundation agrees that the new house will help many homeless youth get back on track. It's going to house up to six young people and um, young people get to stay there for two to three years or whenever they're able to get back on their feet, so it's not a short-term respite. Um, program. It's actually long-term support. Be proud and you, know, you can do whatever you want to do. If you put your mind to it, and then uh, you, can be, you can be the Prime Minister if you want to. It's just a matter of uh, putting your head down and, and believing in who you are and knowing where you come from and, and making right choices along the way. And in saying that, it's just yeah, having confidence within yourself and if you've got something to say, don't hold it in, um, let it out, and, and along with that, just have, have a lot of fun in what you do. Let's take a look at what's making news around the country. A federal court judge has upheld a native title claim in court.